Hey guys, Ashley Anderson here. I just sit down and got everything out and ready to go for clinicals, so I thought I would show you guys what I take to clinicals every single week and hopefully give you some tips along the way. So here's a quick overview of everything I take, and I'll explain what each item is here in just a second. But my first tip is this. Watch a few clinical bag videos, but don't dive too deep into this because you'll learn as you go and as you get through the program what works for you, what doesn't, what you need to take, what you don't need to take. And then you'll also learn the things that you want to take that are nice to have as just in case items, like just in case. I get time to study, I'll go ahead and have my notes inside of my bag. Versus watching all of these videos, getting into the deep, dark rabbit hole of YouTube and then feeling more overwhelmed about what to take to clinicals. Honestly, I think I watched one clinical bag video before I started and after I started, I don't even remember what that person took with them. So I hope that this is helpful for you and I do hope that it gives you tips and I hope that when you start, unlike me, you actually remember this video. But don't, don't dive too deep into it. Just figure out what works for you. Take what you need. Um, don't feel like you have to take something because someone else does and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you guys the things that I take with me to clinical on a weekly basis. So we'll do the not so fun things first and then we'll get into the funner items. Um, first up, drug book. Obviously you're gonna need this. You need to look up medications. It's that simple. Next up, this is something that I highly recommend that you have. This is a clipboard that opens. And when we open my clipboard, you will see that I have some lab values taped over here to the side. I have some prenatal lab values. Now I also have some uh, math equations that I usually have taped in here, I took them out. And I also have other lab values that I normally have taped. Again, I took them out, I need to get those put back in here. But this is so handy. Everything that I need for that clinical session, I put inside of here. And I also keep scrap paper in here whenever I'm at clinicals, and then if I need to write down notes or reminders or a to-do list or whatever while I'm at clinicals, I have it. And that's really, really helpful. I got mine from Walmart. You can get them from Amazon. They're not very expensive. Definitely something worth having is a good clipboard and then a way to keep all of your papers inside. Next up, I have a couple of folders that I take with me to clinicals. Now this green one is specific for items that I need that's for that semester for clinicals specifically. So if we go to um, the OR and we have a paper that we have to write on it, I have my information in there telling me about that paper. I have information in there telling me about projects and what I'm allowed to do, what I'm not allowed to do. And so I keep all of the items inside of one folder that's pertaining to clinicals and that way whenever I need to refer to them, I know exactly where they're at. Now this other folder um, it doesn't actually stay inside of my clinical bag all the time here's the deal the way our semester is kind of set up as far as the content we learn is by unit so like unit one we're going over this information unit two we're going over this information and instead of packing around giant binders that just weigh you down absolutely ridiculous I operate out of a folder, no joke. So let's say this week we're going over unit one. I'm gonna have everything from unit one inside of this folder. This goes with me to class, this goes with me to clinicals. And I take this to clinicals just in case I get a few minutes and I can actually study. That has happened before where I get some time and I'm going over notes or you know, in between checking on patients or whatever, you, you have some downtime, you can actually read notes. Um, so that's very beneficial to take it with you just in case. I'm not saying you're for sure gonna get time to study or go over anything, but have it there. If you get a chance, you can. And I definitely recommend operating out of a folder system instead of packing those giant three inch binders around to class with you and everything else. Because honestly, how many times are you flipping back through that binder looking at the previous unit's content or the previous week's information? Typically you're not, so there's no need to pack all of that. And then if I ever need to refer back to something, I just make a note of it and I do it when I get home. No big deal. This is a back saver instead of packing all those binders around. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you, and you guys, this has been so stinking handy. I have used this since I started nursing school and I absolutely love it. It's this cute little stethoscope case and you guys, it holds so much inside of here. I love this stinking thing. Now the outside of this is, um, it's kind of like this hard, hard cloth. I don't know how to explain it and I don't know the different types of material. That's too much information. Basically what I'm gonna tell you is that you can clean this. You can wipe this baby down. Obviously I wouldn't use bleach on it because it is a color, but um, you can wipe this thing down. It cleans up really nicely. So, um, I do wanna say there are some newer ones that I found on Amazon that are leather and they might be a better option because you can clean those a little bit better. But as far as this one goes, 
it cleans up nicely it was pretty inexpensive and I literally take this every single week and it's been so useful so when we open this thing up you will see that I have my ID here laying up on top with my pen inside of it obviously you're gonna need a pen so that's another item on the list here on the left side I have some alcohol prep pads I just keep a few in there but usually we have some at the hospital we have a pair of scissors I have hair ties you guys, with this thick hair, you would not believe how many times I have busted one of these and then there I am without a hair tie. And then I'm using a rubber band and those kind of hurt. Um, another tip, if you have thick hair, you use um, headbands all the time, hair bows, whatever they're called. Stick them around the gear shifter in your car and that way you always have some in your car. You have some in your clinical bag, put some inside of your backpack for school. I literally keep these things everywhere. Next up, I have a battery. I can't tell you guys how many times my darn watch has gone dead and this has come in handy. So I always keep an extra battery in here. And then I also have some money in here because sometimes you just need to go buy a snack or get some coffee. Now over here on the right side, I have this super cute badge clip. Oh my gosh, I found this at a um, local scrub shop that we have here and I think it's so cute. Here's the thing though, I don't typically wear this one with the scrubs that I have for, for school because the scrubs I have for school are kind of junky and um, I mean they're not like terrible but they're not the best scrubs ever and this thing's kind of heavy and so it kind of weighs the front down so when I bend over I feel like I'm revealing too much so I don't I normally don't wear this but I do keep it in here because whenever I wear a scrub jacket I will pop this thing on just because it's cute but you don't need something this fancy as you guys seen on my ID I just have a regular badge clip and that works just fine but these are cute and handy to have just be cautious with what you're revealing when you bend over we got it we got to be discreet I have my watch. Now I got this watch from Amazon. It does have a leather band on it. It's super stinking easy to clean, so I love it. Definitely recommend getting leather or some type of plastic. Obviously you don't want to do a cloth watch band. Those are harder to clean. I mean you can clean them, but they're harder. So get leather, get plastic, something like that. Now you may actually have an Apple watch. I don't have an Apple watch, so want, want, no fun there. But we are required to have a watch with a second hand on it. This is it, and this works great. And last but not least, Here's my cheapo stethoscope. Here's my opinion on stethoscopes, you guys. I think that while in nursing school, we should definitely be using the cheaper ones because it helps hone in our listening skills. If you start nursing school with a $200 Lippmann and it's excellent and you don't have to really focus to hear things, what happens when you're in the hospital, you're in an emergency situation, somebody hands you a cheapo stethoscope and you miss something because you didn't hone in your listening skills. So I really encourage you guys to use the cheap stethoscope through nursing school. They actually work pretty good. I'm not saying that they're the best, obviously they're not, but they work pretty good and it helps you hone in those skills, know what you're listening for. It makes you to really be able to listen, especially when you're in a room with your patients and um, they've got family around and stuff and you're trying to hear. These really help because you're really having to focus and that'll help tremendously when you're in an emergency situation People are, you know, calling out orders and telling people to do things and it's kind of loud and you got things beeping and da 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 da. These will help you really hone in your skills. So save that $200 Lippman as a graduation present to yourself. Use the cheap one while in nursing school. It'll help tremendously with your listening skills. Okay, next up is this super cute Ray Dunn bag I found at TJ Maxx. You guys, I love Ray Dunn. I am kind of obsessed with it. Um, but I found this bag and one of the reasons why I like using it for clinicals um, is because it's leather so it's really easy to clean just take an alcohol wipe or whatever wipe it off good to go now this one doesn't actually stay inside of my clinical bag I take it to clinicals with me but this also goes inside of my um, purse or my bag or whatever that I take to class with me so inside of here I have some gum you always need gum I have some Tylenol in here for pain I have some burb energy bars you guys these things are no joke I swear by these verb energy bars these things are the best thing that I've had to give me energy um, so like let's say you're at a 12 hour clinical and you're getting tired you're really exhausted these things will save you plus it's just a great little snack I highly recommend these I'll link to their website down below you guys can go check them out I think they have four different flavors as of right now they may come out with some more but my favorite is the salted peanut butter so stinking good and they give you so much energy. I will say though, unless you're staying up all night, do not take these after like 2 p.m. because it's gonna mess up your sleep schedule. You're gonna be up super duper late. So have a cutoff time if you're gonna get the verb bars. Next up, I have a couple of highlighters and pens and pencils that I keep in here. 
And then last but not least, I have some female products because you never know. Those are one of those just in case items, just in case you need this. Okay, now the last few things that I add to my clinical bag, and this is typically as I go kind of basis, they don't stay inside of my bag, but I always have a water bottle that I'm taking with me. Right now I'm currently drinking out of this one. Doesn't matter what kind of water bottle you have. I recommend taking one though. I like this one, I take it with me. It holds 40 ounces of water and I can fill it up at the hospital. Super easy, easy to drink out of, great little thing. And I don't have to worry about it spilling either. So that's awesome. And then I also will add in snacks if I need to, like maybe I'll throw in some pretzels or a protein bar or something like that. And then I always add my wallet in once I get to the hospital. Obviously if I don't pack my lunch and I need to buy food that day, I have my wallet debit card, all the things are in there that I need, ID or whatever. So those are kind of the things that I add as I go and obviously that changes as my needs change and um, that's not something that's set in stone. None of this is set in stone. I can add and remove things as I go. Same thing for you. You'll do that too. You just learn what works for you and what doesn't and then pack your bag, go on with it. So there you have it. That's the things that I take with me on a consistent basis to clinicals. I hope that this helped you guys. I hope that I give you guys some good tips. Everything that I've used here will be linked down below in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. Most of these things come from Amazon so you can get them all from there and you don't have to travel all over the place. So tell me down below in the comments what you take to clinicals that is an absolute must for you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and get your butt over here and follow me on Instagram. We have so much fun on Instagram. We talk about all kinds of random fun things. And as always, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.